Previously on The Potentialists. We actually flew to Armenia. These right here are actually coffee beans right here. I don't know, 400 spikes. Wow. The water from there was beautiful. This is a handful of coffee beans. No, I did not get a coffee high. A point that I really don't want to do, but I have to. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. It was Dylan's birthday, and my mom's birthday, and Miles and Sabrina's birthday were coming up, and we figured we'd just combine it all and do a family vacation to Europe. Terminator, I'm proud of him. He was on time. Actually, on time. Terminator. Hasta la vista, baby. Why are we calling him the Terminator? Look, <laughs> he's the gadget master. This is the youngest uh, so far. I'll leave the family and then we're going to Europe. We're on our way. We're blind. Miles is calling. Hello. Hello. Hey. Look, we got TVs. Look, look. Oh, we got iPads. Airplane mode. Yeah. Shut down. They're cartoons and Portuguese. I don't understand anything they're saying. I think it's for flight safety. If you look over here, I gotta get one of these cars, so I gotta put the money in here to change it in order to get my little car. So let's give it a shot. Okay. I guess five singles. Hello everybody, I'm Manuela, your assistant. Nice to meet you. We have to walk just from here to that place, okay? It's not so far, it's just 10 seconds walking. Water taxi. Need water. I don't, I don't need a taxi. It is hot. It's the actual pier with the water taxi. I'm out of it reminds me of Belize, and then they fly out of here. They go pretty quick, actually. First place we got to was Venice. A lot of people had told me that in Venice the water was going to be dirty and... Just all negative things. Let me tell you something, it was nothing like that. It was beautiful. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. Mm, tastes delicious. How's yours? 
no offense if we have any Venetian people in the audience, but the locals from there they were a little rough to say the least. They're mean. Very rude people here so far. They talk about Americans being rude. I don't know. I've asked for a gondola. The guy walked up to me in a restaurant. The guy started screaming at us. The lady in the window was throwing the shoe at me. It looks like we're staying down this tunnel. It's like a cave. And our hotel was right over the Rialto Bridge, which was the hottest spot in Venice, which I absolutely loved. The room reminded me of Austin Powers. Beautiful bed and this red wallpaper that almost looked like velvety and plush, and it was just funny as hell. It looked like a princess room. What you just saw was the UPS boat. Even in Venice, they bring UPS. <laughs> Amazing. You will probably notice Audrey being quiet. That's because she was doing a 21 day vow of silence and it happened to fall into the time that we went to Europe. Oh my gosh, Audrey must have like some form of ADD or I don't care syndrome because she would just get lost. This is our little child. We have these two way radios and they work really well. However, not when someone has a vow of silence. <laughs> So I'm going, and there's no response. Then we can't find her. She's a shopaholic, man. Whenever there was a store, you were sure to lose her, and we're all like, you know, running together, and we'll turn around and. Audrey, Audrey, Audrey? Audrey's lost. We just found her again. Let's see how often we lose her in this trip. One. Hot, hot, and more hot. In fact, it might be hotter in Venice than it is in South Florida. That. You oh. try walking down the street in Miami, which uh, you don't ever do. Well, Belize is pretty bad too. One of the most amazing parts about being in Venice is that there's no vehicles. Everywhere you go is water, water, and more water. But I did find a headless, headless man. Check this out. Now that's a headless man. So Venice was not that kid friendly because museums and operas and just so many things but not stuff that kids are really interested in you know there's none of that action adventure playing games rides or none of that stuff i found this art very interesting feet to the face <laughs> wow. wow i love it it's beautiful gorgeous Come on guys, this is really amazing. Did I say how beautiful it was? <laughs> what do you think about Venice? The amount of details, the amount of, of attention to detail in everything, whether it was you know a pillow for your sofa or the marble and the structure, and, oh, it was just amazing. Oh, look at the pigeon. Okay, well, that one's white. That look, the one white one, the one white one. person there that actually said, you want to feed the birds? I'm like, sure. I had a little bit of food, gave it a shot. Next thing you know, there was birds everywhere. I mean, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my head. We're vlogging in here. Oh, no. No, These birds wouldn't stop coming, and then it got to the point that I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> a little intimidating at first. Overall, it was definitely something different, and I would actually do it again. Now, we're gonna get into our gondola. We're gonna ride a gondola and take you guys with us. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Boa World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Boa World. Feel me? Hey guys, we're flying over Portugal right now. Hey guys, I just arrived to Venice, Italy. This is really amazing. I had a little bit of food, gave it a shot. Next thing you know, there was birds everywhere. Now, we're gonna get into our gondola. The structure, and oh, it was just amazing. 